Hi, I'm working here with Git on a pull request called 258 Output Borderline. Actually, it's still a branch. I haven't pushed this to GitHub. So I'm free to modify the history of this um, Git repo locally, which I wouldn't do if I, I'm already sharing this with someone else on, on GitHub. So what I want to do actually is to squash all these commits that relate to the same problem. Uh, actually, the commit message that more uh, concretely reflects the, what I wanted to do here is this one uh, message that I'm highlighting here. So the function function match name now outputs a new column called borderline. So um, I want all these commits to uh, be squashed in a single one that I can then share with my colleagues for a review. Uh, so let's do just that. Uh, before I show how to do a, an interactive rebase where you can work at the level of each commit when you want to squash uh, edit or reward or do a bunch of other things that you can do at a very granular level but if you just want to squash the whole thing maybe you can just do uh, um, a reset against the master branch and then um, then rewrite the commit so let's do just that <clears throat> so let's do a git reset master I'm gonna do a soft uh, reset because what I want to do is to uh, get all those changes that um, I accumulated along those commits that I showed you before. I want them all available here to me to create a new commit with a more informative uh, commit message. So let me show you what's the the um, git um, the, what's the last commit where uh, you know, that now now need that now git knows about so now uh, our history is pointing back to the commit that uh, that points to the upstream right and uh, and that's what i want i want to add a one commit on top so notice how you know the branch i'm working now kind of went back all the way to where the upstream repo is right it's pointing to the same commit uh, but the good thing is that we have you know all those um, changes that i did are now here waiting for me to create a new commit so let's add them all right and now let's commit with the message uh, match name uh, now output calling line uh, and actually that's okay but i would like to also add a line here so i'm i'm ending the message to uh, say that I want to close the issue number uh, 258 right I, I see that from uh, the name of the branch we I, you know we, we use the convention that um, we name it with the name of the issue that will be closed once the pull request is merged so let's do that and now I can show you what's the history of my, my repo so you know the the upstream is pointing to that commit and now we you know, effectively added this one commit on top that tells the story of uh, what changed. So that is it. So I'm ready now to submit a pull request and um, we cleaned up the history of uh, the branch associated to that pull request using, in this case, a git reset master. Thank you. See you next time.